Is it time for major change in Pittsburgh? After Monday's game, I think it's unfortunately time to break up the Crosby era. The Dallas Stars scored a touchdown and a field goal against the Penguins and ultimately won 7-1. The Stars set a franchise record by scoring six of their goals during the first period. A funny stat, sad if you are a Penguins fan, is that the Stars outscored their NFL counterpart, the Cowboys, by having seven goals opposed to their six points. This game confirms what everyone was thinking about the Penguins. Their era is slowly ending and you have to plan for the future now. The Penguins have the second oldest team in the NHL at an average age of 29.08 years old. They don't have a lot of help from rookies in the pipeline either. Their top rookie forwards are Rutger McGroarty, 14th overall in 2022, Ville Koivunen, 51st in 2022, and Tanner Howe, 46th overall in 2024. Their top defense prospects are Owen Pickering, 21st overall in 2022, and Harrison Brunica, 44th overall in 2024. For their goalies, they have Joel Blumkvist, 52nd overall in 2020, who looks promising. A common theme among the prospects listed, excluding McGroarty and Pickering, is that they do not have any blue-chip prospects in the pipeline. That does not mean that some of the prospects mentioned will not turn out. Just the probability of them turning into regular impactful NHL players is up in the air. ESPN ranks Penguins as having the 25th best prospect pool, while the Daily Faceoff ranks them 24th. For the second oldest team in the NHL, that isn't a great sign. So what can the Penguins do? I think the Penguins need to figure out their 2024 identity. What I mean by that is that the team is slowly falling in the standings, 24th in the league currently. The team is the second oldest in the NHL, and the cupboards are somewhat empty in terms of prospects. It's time to build for the future, and that might require tough decisions. It seems that might be the direction as Kyle Dubas is quoted as saying that everyone is available except 87. There is also word that Kyle Dubas called GMs saying he is open to talk, but there is no immediate fire sale. I'm curious what you guys think. Is a coaching change needed? Should the Penguins tear it all down? Should they wait and see what happens? Let me know down below what you think. Thanks for watching.